and the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sport. TA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin and... Thanks, David. So the Nets starting five. Harris is out there with Durant. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. Then there's Irving. And it's Brown in at the two-guard spot. And for the Raptors, Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slot. And Van Bleed out there with Lowry. And it's Boucher in at the center. Now, here's Siakam. Ananobi, good. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Siakam against Durant. Boucher, great pass to set up the lay-in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Van Vliet. Lowry for three. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. You know, there was a time when three-point shooting was a liability for Lowry. But the guy has put in the time, and now he is a solid option from deep. No good from Irving. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. For Brooklyn, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the dunk by Jordan. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irvin has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Well, you can be the judge of if it's fair or not, but Kyrie Irving has earned himself the reputation of being moody, to say the least. Yeah, and you know, sometimes that sword cuts both ways. Sometimes it's the player, sometimes it's the media, and the media's perception is the combination of the two. Um, clearly, Kyrie can sometimes go off on tangents and come from left field in interviews. I mean, he's not the only player, present or past, that's been guilty of that. Uh, one thing you can't deny, though, is this guy loves the game, and um, it's a matter of continuing to mature and grow as a leader. So I say give him more time, and he'll refine himself in that area. You know, at this stage of his career, Jordan not only knows his role, but thoroughly and fully embraces it. He's out there to provide energy and hustle on defense and on the glass. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan now. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley-oop. Lowry passes to Siakam. And an OB in the corner. Van Vliet kicks to Lowry. To the inside, Siakam. And the layup falls. And watch Siakam just spring up for those offensive boards. Athletic ability gets him to the ball so fast. Nobody near Irving. Off target from outside. Toronto leading by four. Here's Hananobi outside for Lowry. Pass to Siakam. Over Harris. They get it again. Round with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Durant dishes to Harris. Count that one. You know, what nice touch that time on the floater. I mean, you can tell Harris is comfortable going to that shot when the opportunity is there. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. And then for Brooklyn, Nicholas Claxton's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Green comes in for Joe Harris. And it's Luwawu Cabarro in for Bruce Brown. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Raptors. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. 
They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. Trent passes to Johnson. No good on the three. And KD's got the ball here for Brooklyn. They trail by one. And the wide-open shot from Green. Here's Luwawu. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Shots good by Durant. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Bembry. 116 left in the first. They grab their own miss. The pass to Trent. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Shot clock at six. Bembry misses. And here are the Nets. They're on a 13 to five run. To the wing on the left. Claxed in the pass to Luau. From the arc. Nets with the new shot clock. Raptors trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Ken Burch has checked in for Toronto. Griffin's checked in for the Nets. Here's Lou Wallace. Nine seconds left to play in the first. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. Here's Bembry. A second chance effort. And Beams with the layup. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Irving with the bounce pass. Durant, and no good. It's all tied in Toronto. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment.